Hello there and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy. And today I want to show you how to open the treasury. Fortunately, we have a treasury event at the moment. And so I can make this video. To open the treasury, you first need the treasury building that's on your station. And it's right over there. You see something green because I can open it. But I will not talk a lot about the building. That's a part for, for the video on the treasury building. You know that I'm making a video on every single building on my station. But that's the prerequisite for having it. And from time to time, there is a treasury event. So you cannot open it all the time. You have to wait until Scopely does this event. It's roughly once a month that you can do that. And at the moment, we have a treasury event. You see on the top right, next to sale, that something is glowing up and that is the treasury. And that's the sign for the treasury event. You see it goes for another two days and 18 hours. It started uh, yesterday at event change. And uh, to open it, you need to do several things. First of all, I go in there. You see on the bottom left that there are some points, 700 points, I already finished it. That means that you have to um, hunt 700 hostiles before you are even allowed to open the treasury. So that is step one, hunt 700 hostiles. And then it shows the same it does now. It's finished, it's green, it's, it's uh, glowing up. And so that's fine. And then you need no, I will go a different path here. First of all, I show you what you can get because what you can get depends on your level, but you can always see what the lockbox content is when the treasury event is there. And in my case, I'm um, on level 43 at the moment on this server. And uh, that's why I get a little bit more than perhaps when you're still at the beginning of your journey on Star Trek Fleet Command, then you will have something very different in that lockbox. But it is always nice to get it because it's always a help um, for your gameplay to open the treasury, but it gets better with higher levels. And you can see I would get 756,000 Latinum. And if you are a level 15 player at the moment, you will say, what? 750k of platinum, that is a lot. Yes, it is. But on, on my level, it's uh, not that much anymore. And if some people are much, are much higher levels, they will not last a day with 750k. But I also get optical diodes. That's the things we, we need to upgrade the uh, treasury. There are always some, some officer shards here. In this case, in, uh, I have Beyun. Jitsia and the Doctor, that changes um, a lot. And there's pass deal. There are also pass deal tokens. There's Tritanium. There are Tritanium tokens. There's Dilithium. There are Dilithium tokens. And then there's Common Crystal, Common Gas, and uh, Common Ore. In ma my case, it's uh, four-star um, materials. Um, if you're on a, on a lower level, you will have two-star or three-star materials there. It's always depending on your level. And then I've got the UC crystal ore and gas and uh, rare crystal ore and gas and some epic crystal ore and gas. And I also have three star, which I still need to upgrade some of my ships, which I still can need for a few researches I haven't done yet. So it's nice. And you need a desealing rod to open this and I can show it to you here. Have I clicked twice or was it once? The desealing rod. You can either buy a desealing rod in the store, as it says. And you can do this, I quickly have to get out of here, at sale. And when you hunted those 700 uh, hostiles, this should appear in the treasury. In my case, uh, my game is on euros. Um, it costs 100 euros to get the desealing rod. Um, to be honest, there are nice things in the treasury. 
but it's it's always your decision if you want to do this. I have never bought a desealing rod in the store because um, for the same amount of money I get other things I need to show you certain things in the game or to get some other things done and so I never did this and spent the money on other things because uh, I have a personal budget for just the gameplay and I have uh, certain money to buy stuff to make videos for you because the viewers from my main channel for example are helping there um, so that I can show you stuff but I, I personally never bought this desealing rod but it's everyone's decision if you want to do so. But there's a, because there's a second way, you will not be able to unlock it every month if you don't buy the desealing rod. But from time to time, you can unlock it. And I'm at that point because, you see, I have a second button, the blue button, where it says 4,000. And I can show you why it says 4,000. And for this, I have to go to my recruitment section. You see, there's the desealing rod as well. And if we go there, I can get a desealing rod for 4,000 broken desealing rods. So I can, if I collect 4,000, I can exchange it to one complete desealing rod. And you see I have 4,000, I have 4,240. And then you can get it. You can either press the button on the treasury, uh, the blue one, or you just get the desealing rods here. But how do you get them? You can get them in different ways. It, it, it takes a bit, but you, you can get them without uh, buying it. One thing is your dailies. Not the daily dailies. No, I'm, I'm in the wrong one. But you get the ceiling rods. Yeah, I'm in the wrong one. When you open your 30 day loyalty chest which you should be able to do once a month, then you get 360 broken desealing rods. That is one thing. And then there are events like the battle pass. We have a battle pass at the moment as well. And I have a look if I get some here, because sometimes you already get some here, but this time I don't. But there is another thing like... Um, the, the BP point overflow and there when you reach the top level you have another 360 broken desealing rods and so on, on in one month here I collect 720 with the 30 day chest and the battle pass if I completely um, manage to fulfill all the all, all I need to get to the maximum so that's the other way to do it. And then we go back to the treasury and I can just say open now. And then first of all I get the desealing rod for the 4000 broken desealing rods and then I unlocked my treasury. And there's a recruitment event. That's why I got uh, some points for the for the recruit charts, officers charts here as well. And you see, I got everything that was in the treasury. So there's not that this is some things are guaranteed, something are chances. No, what you see in the lockbox is what you get, and that's the way how you open it. And um, as I usually say. I keep my videos as long as necessary and as short as possible. That's already what I wanted to show you today. I hope it was of some help. And if you want to see something else very helpful, the next video is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.